Increasingly, companies are looking at their customer support organization as a source of competitive advantage. Providing consistent, world-class service is a challenge. Softfront Customer Support provides a solution to step up to these expectations and address customer support challenges. Softfront Customer Service helps you manage customer support tickets from submission to resolution. Here is Softfront's home page. We have several different tiles organized to help you work with your tickets, customer contacts, defects, and run reports. Everything you want to do can be done from the home screen. The home screen can be customized to your preference. You'll notice that there are four icons that appear at the top of each tile. If you click on the paintbrush here, we can change the color of each individual tile. So we'll make this one red and click OK. The plus sign here allows you to add new links within the tile. So here we would just select the query or report or link that we would like to add. So here I'll choose from tickets and I'm going to put today's tickets. And I'll click add and you'll see that populates right there. I'll close this and if I wanted to um, remove this I can simply click on the X here and it will remove the link. You can also drag and drop to reorganize the order that you have your links appear here. If you click on the pencil here you can rename your tiles to whatever you'd like. So here we'll just change this to tickets and click OK and you'll see that that changes the tickets. The last one here on the right is an X. This will remove the entire tile from your home screen. If you put your mouse over here in the corner in this blank area you'll see add your stuff pops up here. If you click that area you can add a new tile and you can give it any name you want. We're going to call it products and now we're going to choose which links we want to show in this tile. So I'm going to choose products and I want to see active products and I'm going to click add and you'll see that populates right there. So if I want to remove this whole tile I can simply click on the X and you'll see that now it's gone. You can also reorganize where you want the different tiles to show up on your home screen. So here you can see just dragging and dropping will rearrange where your tiles are. We also have a dashboard under fixed links. If you click on the dashboard this will pull up a variety of reports to show you how well your support process is performing. Up at the top we have a search bar. Here it's under all so we can type in a keyword and it will find anywhere in the database where that keyword is mentioned. So here I have BCD. I'm going to hit enter and now you'll see that it pulls up two accounts, three contacts, 36 tickets, and zero leads. So to review any of that information you simply click on the link there and now you'll see it's displaying the contacts for you. You can also do a more targeted search in the database so let's click on tickets here and I'm going to type in SQL and this is only going to bring up tickets with the reference SQL. Here at the top you'll notice that they are categorized by their status so here we have defect, closed, and all. You can change the category filter simply by clicking the drop down arrow here and you can have it sorted by version, severity, Q, etc. So I'm going to click on all just so you can see everything here and here you'll notice that everything is conveniently on one screen. So you can see who the tickets assigned to, the status of the ticket, a synopsis of the ticket, 
Here you'll see all the contact details that you need, the contact name, phone number, and email address. And to the right here you'll notice all of the notes for the ticket. Going back under the contact information here, we can simply click on the email address here to conveniently compose an email message without leaving the page. You can either choose uh, a template or you can just simply click on go and compose a new message to your contact. Once the message is ready, you'll want to click on send and save. This will save this email as a note for that ticket as well as send the email to your contact. To call this contact directly from this page, simply highlight the phone number and then you'll just simply hit connect and this will call your contact and make the phone call right here without you having to leave the page. And then you can simply click on add under notes, type the notes from your call and you're all set. So if you'd like to get back to the home page, you can do so at any time by simply clicking on the home tab here. Now let's take a look at our tickets. Under the tickets tile here, I'm going to click on my assigned tickets. And this will bring up all the tickets that are assigned to me. At the top, you'll notice that they are categorized by their severity. So here I have eight critical tickets, one severe ticket, 8 workaround tickets and 17 total. This helps me to attend the critical tickets immediately. If I want to create a new ticket, I can simply click on the plus sign here and for contact name I go to the right and click here and I start typing in my contacts name and do a search and here I can select my contact and click on link and this will link this ticket to that contact. Here I can choose the product that they're having a problem with and click OK. I can enter a synopsis that they can't log in. Error logging in. And over here to the right I can change any of the other details about the ticket that might apply such as the source, category, severity, etc. So here I'm going to change it to critical since he can't log in. And I'll click on save. And now you see that this ticket has been saved. And if I go back here to my assigned tickets, I can refresh the page and you'll see that the new ticket appears right here. Now this ticket was automatically assigned to me and tickets can be automatically assigned using assignment rules. The assignment rules can be created to automatically assign tickets based on product line, expertise, severity, or geographic location of the ticket source. And as you can see, all of the other details that I need about this ticket all appear here on one line. So I have the synopsis of the issue and the contact information, name, phone number, and email address. And over here to the right, I have any notes about the ticket. Or since this is a new ticket, I can click on Add to start adding my own notes. Now if I double click on this ticket, I can start working to resolve this customer's issue. Under the Actions drop down menu, I have several options to choose from to help this customer. First I'll go to Search KB and I can easily look through these suggestions and send articles to my customer for resolution. So here you can see that there is an article that pertains to login errors and I can simply click on email and that'll send the article to my customer. If I happen to know the answer I can email my customer directly simply clicking on his contact name here and then I can click go compose my message send it to him and then come back over here and click resolve to resolve my ticket. If the error is with our product and not a user error, I can click on Submit Defect. This will submit the ticket to the engineering department and once they fix the defect, they will mark the issue as fixed 
so that I know to inform the customer that the problem has been resolved and close the ticket. So here you can fill out the information for the specific product that has the defect, the version, and a brief synopsis. If for some reason I can't figure out how to handle this problem on my own, I can click on Assign to reassign the ticket to someone else. Since I know the answer, I'm going to hit Resolve. And in the Solutions area, I can write how I resolved the issue and click on Save. When I click Save, the system sends out an automatic email to the customer with my solution. Now you can see that it shows up as a resolved ticket in the status area. And in, if I go back to my assigned tickets and refresh, you can see that the status is now resolved as well and I am done with this ticket. Now that my customer's problem is resolved, I'm going to create a follow-up for tomorrow so that I can make sure the information I sent him fixed his issue. To schedule a follow-up call, I'll go ahead and click on the forward button here and the subject is follow up on ticket. I'll put confirm issue resolved and I'll make sure that it's on the appropriate day and click OK. And now my follow up has been scheduled. Softrack Customer Support allows you to easily manage customer support tickets from submission to resolution. You can create tickets and assign them to support reps automatically, and you can easily see where each ticket is within the resolution process. SoftRep makes it simple and fast to solve your customers' problems using a knowledge base and self-service portals, ensuring that your company is able to provide the best customer service possible. For more information or to request a demo, please call us at 1-800-SOFTRUNT 